They say nothing adds a greater production value to your video than audio. In fact, most say audio is 60% of your video. Well, today, for under $40, I'm going to show you how to add great production value to your videos. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? I'm Ty Turner, creative director here at Flash Film Media and a former Army combat photographer. Today, we're here to talk about sound. And what we have today will help you improve your sound a lot. We have the Nandy CM90. Now, a lot of people have not heard about this mic before. And there's reasons behind that. This mic is mostly used for recording instruments, recording drums, um, and other live applications. But most will say that the human voice is an instrument itself. In fact, it's the best instrument you can get. So, why is it that a lot of people aren't using these to record your voice? And I'm sure there's a lot of answers to that question, but today we're gonna show you how this $37 microphone compared to a $1,000 microphone. So the Nandy CN90 is one of my favorite mics. We use it a lot on interviews it's not as good as a shotgun mic as far as deflecting a lot of the sound around it, but it picks up really good if you're recording in a quiet or decent environment such as this environment and you're shooting interviews. For under 40 bucks, you can't beat this. What I like about it is it has a very tight cardioid polar pattern. So if you get this mic in fairly decent, like we have right out of frame, it picks up very good audio. Like I said, we use this a lot whenever we conduct interviews in a lobby and it doesn't pick up a lot of echo, which microphones like this are designed not to compared to your shotgun mics. So that's one of the reasons we typically use it over most shotgun mics is we get a lot of echo sometimes if we don't put up padding or uh, we're in a really close environment. We tend to get more echo with a shotgun mic than a mic like this. So we usually sit it right out of frame. We actually have one here now, which I'm recording on uh, both uh, a Sennheiser uh, MK416 and the Nandy. And we'll, we'll give you an example of the difference a little later. But we have one sitting right out of frame. In fact, it's right here. Um, so, you know, it's one of our favorite mics. We love to use it. Uh, it's not, you know, a thousand dollar mic is a thousand dollar mic for a reason. But this $40 mic is very close. And I try to tell people all the time, don't get caught up in chasing gear. You'll never get good at what you do by focusing on getting new gear. New gear will never make you better. It may make your image quality a little bit better. If you don't understand what you have and how to use it to its fullest capabilities, you will never maximize the gear you have. And for a $40 mic, I would rather have two of these on an interview pointed at two different subjects than $1,000 mic in the middle. And I'm sure there are some audio guys out there who, you know, would totally go with the $1,000 mic and they can list the benefits of the $1,000 mic and I'm not taking nothing from them. We use $1,000 mics um, and they're great, but if you want to improve your interviews over using an onboard microphone, this is probably your best bet. In fact, this microphone can compete with a lot of microphones that are six and eight times the price. If you get this microphone close enough and you're recording it into something great, you can have some really good sound, especially if you go into like a Zoom H4n. Right now we're recording into our Zoom F8. Um, so you can get a good comparison of this versus the Sennheiser. A few other things that I like is that it includes a microphone clip, a foam windscreen, and a sub assembly shock mount. So you can see an example of the differences between the Sennheiser MK416, a thousand dollar mic, and a Nandy CM90, a forty dollar mic. I'm gonna read a quote and then I'll play both back with each mic so you can hear the difference. There's no secret to success. It's the result of preparation, hard work, and learning from failure. There's no secret to success. It's the result of preparation, hard work, and learning from failure. As you can see, the Nandy holds its own. 
The sound is a little different. One could be a little more bass here over the other. But I think the Nandy holds his own for one twentieth of the price. And before you go out and spend two, three hundred dollars on, you know, any other mic, you may want to give this mic a shot at thirty seven ninety nine shipped if you got Amazon Prime. The link is in the description. And yeah, check it out. Tell me what you think. You have any questions about this microphone? Post them below. I'd love to answer them for you. And I'm going to ask you to do what I ask you to do each and every week. Like, share, subscribe. When it comes to subscribing, you can subscribe right here. Click on that, subscribe, and we will have more videos for you every week. All right, guys. See you next week. Flash Film Media. Inspired by passion. Driven by results.